let's talk about developing tourism in Aquaibum because I know that for sure we have sights and scenes. For instance, where our station is located, we call it the beautiful hills of Ibiakuran. We are on a hill. From where we stand, we overlook some really beautiful scenery. And we keep asking, where are the investors? Now, let's also talk, go beyond government as investors. Let's look at private organizations and or individuals who have the money to spend. Um, how can we grow tourism in Aquaibem State? Um, one thing we remember is when Pastor Moino was coming in, he, he made tourism part of the catchment you know, um, ca campaign statements that he came around with. So let's talk um, harnessing tourism in Aquaibem. Okay, so, so first I, I would say the governor really um, made a strong statement and he followed it up. And uh, when I say followed it up, um, when, when um, the dialogue was done, um, we could see... Um, in the quality of persons that he brought. That's to show that he's intentional about you know developing tourism in Aquabo. Aquabo in Nigeria is one of the most blessed states, even when we've not harnessed most of these things. Now, for us to be able to develop tourism in Aquabo now, the policies has to be put right. And that's one of the things the dialogue you know committee did. You have to put the policies, you have to make sure that the policies look good, they look inviting. You have to also look at all the opportunities that are available and also showcase it to um, potential investors. Now, you are not going to wait for investors to just come and know what you have. You have to showcase what you have. You have to put it out there for investors to see. You have to show investors that when they virtually come into the state to invest, that their investment are safe. Now, you have to also make sure that the investors understand that they can recoup their money, meaning that you have to show the investors that there's a buying power, you know, that's willing to come into acquire them and, you know, you know, buy into whatever product they create. Mm -hmm. So first, the governor have taken a massive step in also bringing people. Before now, I would say I would give kudos to the governor. Before now, we've had SSAs, we have SSAs that never understood anything about tourism. Now, having two SSAs in tourism and people that are professional shows that the governor doesn't want to make a mistake. Because the truth is that when you bring a lawyer into the tourism industry, I don't know what they are going to do. Tour tourism is not one sector that you can just bring someone from nowhere. Tourism is an intentional sector. So for you to be able to make any positive progress in tourism, you have to use people that have understanding of what to do, when to do, and how to do it well. So the governor has taken a good step in ensuring that we have professionals in those positions so it can, they can guide him and guide investors into knowing what to do in the area, in the tourism subsector in Aquabom State. So the governor is moving um, in a very positive trajectory. And all we can do is to give the necessary support, give the necessary guide. And trust me, before we know it, investors are already lining up to come into the state because they've seen that the governor is intentional about developing and harnessing tourism. In